Russ Park Morning Show. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? He has arrived. 50 Cent in the studio. 50! Oh, my gosh. Yeah, man. We What's could. happening, man? You know, everybody's been showing up, man. And <laughs> they got another dude back, back door trying to get in to see 50. Who, who this on the phone? Hey, what's up, Weezy? How you doing, man? What's up, Wayne? I got to see 50. What up, Phil? What's up, baby? How's everything? Everything is good, man. I'm just trying to come through, man. They're not trying to let me in the back door. I can't get out. All right, you know, actually, we only have a special guest, and you didn't yeah. get a VIP pass. You know, sorry. Well, yeah, I was, that's why I was calling this if I get the VIP pass. No, nah, can't help no. you out, man. You can, you, <laughs> can you get back to us later? Maybe you can call him on your own time. Well, right. I, 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 I can try to call him. Oh, 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 <laughs> 50, how you doing, man? Oh, man, I'm great, man. I can't complain. Man. Well, you know what? We've been just like sitting quoting you for like for the last two days. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're swinging on you. This. See, you know, when you have a lot of money, you can swing on cats with a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But, you know, not manager, but basically, you know, obviously you got movies coming out, right. you got albums coming yep. out, you've got, you got, you got your hands in a whole bunch of things right now. The Bible. I've been actively working. That's yeah. off the, the hook. <laughs> what is that That's the first thing I said is where are our books? I kind of made it like to feel like the King James version, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, but that's that's kind of deep, man. I didn't. Now these are mostly your words, or yeah. Like we, we I actually worked with Robert since 2006 to create that book. We uh, I got a chance to read 33 Strategies of War mm -hmm. and uh, 40 Laws of Power, and then when I start getting into the art of seduction, mm -hmm. I said I want to meet this guy. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's so different from those things that I read before, and then when I actually had a chance to meet him. It is exactly the opposite of what I thought he would be. Yeah. I don't know what. Like, he's more to research. Mm. Mm. You know, the significance in running the parallels between me and the historical figures, because he spent a lot of his time doing research himself. Right. And he had that information offhand, and he would just say things that made me more interested in what he was so talking you're, about. So you're a reader. Yeah. See, that's, that's kind of interesting for all you young folks out there listening. You know, 50 does more than destroy careers. He reads. Wow. <laughs> but the thing is, this book has a lot of, of you know, it's, I, it's akin to me to like, a, if you're a reader, like The Secret. Yeah. Books like that. But did you did you follow this like 10 years ago? Were you, you know, were you kind of following I was those kinda, rules? Kind of. Yeah, like in a, in a different way because they run parallels. It's different ways that the short to Robert Laws and the Four Year Laws of Power applied mm -hmm. to the environment that I grew up in, but the long version was something new. Right. It was all new information, you know. So, like when, when he said, never outshine the master, you know, not to bite the hand that feeds you mm -hmm. or, the, or the outlast me, like me being out, I've consistently said Eminem's the biggest right. rap artist to make him comfortable with me, helping me be the biggest rap artist that right. I can possibly be. You know what so, I mean? So, I mean, how are you getting along with him these days? I mean, he's great, man. Like, really? it, and because he's at a different point in his career, right. where he has an interest in his personal life and his daughter. Right. Like, he didn't want to go away and then wake up one morning and his girl be grown. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. happens, and, man. Yeah. Yeah. Quickly, how time flies. Now, you know, let's, uh, we'll end the deep part of this uh, interview. Uh, <laughs> and you know, listen. I don't know if you're still swinging on Rick Ross, but in, didn't you just kind of finish him oh, out already? I saw a video. I mean, yes, I, did. haven't you crushed? Uh, <laughs> isn't it? Isn't he already crushed by now? Yeah, it is. He's done. Hey, you know, it is, it's, I, hit him, I hit him right, and they expect him to die right there, right. and they die six months later. Right. Oh, you know, it's a delayed effect. Yeah, like, I hit Joe six months later. He came out so eight thousand records. Right. Eight thousand three hundred. But don't you feel kind of bad? Do you feel like? Dang, I really ruined this guy's career. I actually don't. I actually don't. Like I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they got what they deserve. You know. Yeah. Like, I mean, when Triple C's come out and do like four thousand. Yeah. First week, that's oh, an indication man. that people aren't connected to Rick Ross. Right. I and mean, then the next time. It's, it's time to launch his record. He's going to get what he's due. Right. But they gave him twice the marketing dollars that they spent on Jadakiss to mm -hmm. combat me virally wow. at that point. You know what I mean? But, so, but what about your record sales? I mean, they're, they're not what they used to be. Yeah, none of them are. Like, yeah. M, Marshall Mathers LP sold 23 million records. Mm. 2009, M had the largest hip-hop album, right. and they did 4 million records worldwide. Mm. Yeah. So I'm not sure what to expect of this actual record. Well, and you know what? DVDs aren't selling. It's, everything is everything download. Everything is changing. It's, it's, yeah. it's download situations. It's a new marketing strategy. Technology is crazy. Yeah, it, it's really crazy. Mm. So, now, I was wondering, so are you comfortable with what you did to Rick Ross? Are you done with him? Or did you accomplish your mission? Absolutely. <laughs> when, I did more than I thought I was doing, actually. 
Yeah. What I did was, I, I, I looked, I assessed who he was and what, what his actual weaknesses were, and then I started picking at <laughs> oh him. Like, yeah. like his baby father, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all those cars. things. And that was him not doing mental maintenance mm. on right. people, just forgetting to, to actually make the phone call. So is your attitude is like, if they had a career, I couldn't destroy it? Right. If you was, if they were consistent, right, you couldn't just not just put them lights out, right. You know what I'm saying? Like you right. can still write a verse, yeah. but his verse always has drug dealer references in him. Yeah. When he's admitted to being a correctional officer. Okay. In order to be a correctional officer, you have to not have any criminal history. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So this might be logical. where you recognize the name Rick Ross. Then right. the real Rick Ross comes home. That's right. In the middle of all of this. Yeah. And it's looking at you like, why you didn't contact me to just get permission? And that's a legitimate lawsuit. His his real name is yeah. Rick Ross. Yeah, that's mm. true. That's true. It's uh, you know, you're yeah. impersonating somebody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, fifty man, like baby by me. By a million. I mean, hey, listen, there's a lot of ladies lining up out hey. there right now. <laughs> 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 we got two right here. Thurston. Right. He pays child support, I think. <laughs> 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 <laughs>